Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today I'm doing a quick review on a new face palette from Smashbox. This is the Ablaze face palette. You have six shades in here, two highlighters, two blushes, one bronzer, and then one contour shade. I'm going to be doing a review on this. I'm also wearing it today so I'm going to give you guys my full opinions because I have been using this for a couple of weeks since I bought it. So before we jump into the video don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like reviews like this and if you want to see any more videos and you aren't already I'd love if you would subscribe hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video which is every Monday through Friday. Okay, so I bought this off of the website at Ulta.com. It was $39. I did have about $15 in Ulta points saved up, so I did use this on this purchase. And I also got free shipping because I met the minimum for free shipping in the continental US. Sadly, this apparently is limited edition. I don't know how long it's going to be around, but here's the description from the website. Wake up your complexion with Smashbox limited edition Ablaze face palette. Blush, bronze, highlight, inspired by the warmth of LA's breathtaking sunsets. It's a sunset. It's a sunset. Six richly pigmented matte and shimmer shades sculpt cheeks, catch light, and add a pop of color. Just like the sun reflecting off of the Cali coach, coast, coach line, coastline. Like all Smashbox products, these are cruelty-free, formulated without parabens, phthalates. Is that how you pronounce it? Phthalates? And fragrances. Okay, so like I mentioned, you do get six shades in here. You have two highlighters, two blushes, one matte blush, and one shimmery blush. And then technically there are two bronzers, but one is definitely a more cool toned contour shade, and then one is a more warm bronzer. The packaging on this is really nice and sturdy and strong, and there's a gigantic mirror here inside the palette. So this is ideal for travel. You've got your entire face palette right here, which is what I really love about these face palettes is that they're so all in one, so convenient. You don't even have to travel with them. If you just are someone who needs to do their makeup in a rush in the morning or just know what you're going for in the morning to get out to school, out to work, one of these is going to be great. I originally bought this because I was really, really, really obsessed with the regular Smashbox contour palette right here especially with just the ashy contour shade right here. That's my favorite contour shade of all time. And like, I'm really worried about using this one up. I'm about to hit pan on it, it's so down there. But I, I, the only thing is that they don't sell these shades as singles. So you can't just replace one in the palette. You gotta rebuy the whole palette. And I didn't wanna rebuy like the same whole palette just for one shade. And I saw that this palette had a shade that was very similar. Now they're not the exact same shade, but they are very similar and this one is still a really good contour shade and overall I just really like the formula of their powders. I will agree they are super super pigmented so you're not going to go in with a heavy hand on your blush. You're not going to go in with a heavy hand on your bronzer because it'll go everywhere. You can go heavy on the contour. I feel like that one is fine because it blends out so well, but definitely on the blush and on the bronzer, you're gonna want to just swirl, tap off a lot of excess, tap it off on the back of your hand, and then go in, which is what I did today. I am wearing every single one of these shades on my face today. I have the deeper bronzer shade all around the forehead, right down here, and then a little bit down below my neck. And a little bit on the sides of the nose. I contour like a little bit, but not really. <laughs> I have the contour shade. It is right here in the hollows of my cheeks. I have the matte blush right here on top of the bronzer and contour. And then I have a little bit of the shimmery blush right below it, right down there. I have the more pink toned highlighter on this side of my face and on my cupid's bow today. And then I have the more gold toned highlighter on this side of my face. And then also on the tip of my nose. Overall, I absolutely adore this palette. I love the Smashbox just face powder formula. The mattes just blend out so well. And you can like place color and then go in and blend it out, almost like a shadow. But it's just, it's amazing. And what made me fall in love with this palette was just the formula of these mattes and how amazing they are and how great they blend. You get all that in this palette. I definitely think it is worth the price, especially if you have any points saved up at Ulta. You could definitely use that on this purchase. But personally, I think this is great. Two things I don't like about this palette. One, it shouldn't be limited edition. They should have just put this in like regular packaging like this and made it part of their permanent collection because this is an amazing product and it shouldn't be limited edition. Number two is just a personal preference when it comes to the packaging. So as you can see, you have your highlighters, your blushes, 
and your bronzer and your contour. The highlighter should have been in the smaller pans and they should have been in the middle and then you should have had a bigger pan for your blushes because when I'm trying to go in with a big blush brush, I am digging into these other shades. I should have had the highlighters in the middle in the smaller pans because I have highlighter brushes are just smaller and you're going to be able to get in there without mixing them up into your other shades and the blushes should have been on the outside with the bigger pan so I really can get my blush brush in there. That's really my only gripe with this palette. Overall, I think it's really nice and you can see that the pans in this are actually like very visible and I think if you just take a little bit of like a sharp tool, these are probably pop right out and if you wanted to pot it, it's probably going to be really easy to if you want to throw them in another palette or just pick out the shades that you like. Overall, this is just an amazing palette and gets a huge, huge stamp of approval from myself. So thank you so much for watching. I hope if you like this review, you'll give it a thumbs up and let me know down below if you want to see any more reviews like this on like face palettes or other face products and not just on the eyeshadow palettes because I do a lot of those as well. So thank you again for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.